Welcome to Steve Sparkle's Corner. I guess we're recording. I got so bright out here, I can't see the little LED light come on the camera. So, all right. So basically, I've been making a box to put a lot of stuff in, and I've actually made a box before. As you saw from Christmas, what's new? This is a bit different. This is being made a bit more heavier duty because this is my stuff for my. Stuff. This is a my stuff box. <laughs> all right. So basically. Where the boards seem together, I've been painting where they seem together because I'm kind of at the point where I'm just kind of wanting to get the box itself assembled for crying out loud. <laughs> so I can get on to doing other stuff. So I got boards running across this way here, and I got boards running across this way here for enforcements. Then I got a board enforcing here, and I got wheels on it because I don't want to take everything off inside the box. Nice little wheels here with the with uh, bolts and nuts and washers holding them on. And then I'm going to actually be had, making a lid for the top of it. The actual lid I've so far done is in the house because I made the base and then I made the lid. And so basically, what I'm doing is cutting them so that way this board, these scrap left over around the house wood that I'll kind of my way of, well, not saying where I got the wood from, but let's just say it's I mean the wood has a bit of interesting history. <laughs> Alright, so I've been like, cutting it so that way the wood's like half and half on the middle support boards. And I'll do the lid, I'll, that one will be having boards around it to make the whole box look flush, kind of like how here it looks flush. And then my lady Doris has been helping hold the wood. I was actually going to be filming this entire process. Unfortunately, when I started building it, Chris wasn't here, my mom was off with my Nana, and so it wasn't really possible for two people to work on a box and have it recorded. So I'll be seeing you when I actually get the sides on, because it's just your standard cut, screw on, cut, and screw on, and Used a lot of screws on it. A lot, a lot, a lot of screws. All right. So, see you on the next update. Um, I can't talk about it. I didn't build it. Hello and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. My son said he forgot to talk to you about it. Well, he built this box, and he wanted uh, the things to be able to hold. 250, 300 pounds. So I bought these huge heavy wheels on the bottom. You see? So, like this. And he literally built this from scratch. Okay. This is the top, this is the bottom. And so he painted it, as he calls it, Decepticon purple. But each one of these is individual slats. So he, and these is individual slats. So he, put these on there from the other side and screwed them in. Each, all the way down here, he put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven boards here, and seven boards here, and three boards in the middle. Then he built them up with screws. He used screws on everything. He used two screws on this end, and uh, two screws here, two screws here, two screws here and here, and here, and here, and here. So he, this is the lid, he assembled it, and he's gonna use hinges that I purchased somewhere around here to put that on top of this. Now, on this, one long board up here, two halves, two halves, two halves, two halves. So he's got one, two, three, four, five boards high, five boards high over there. And then he put support beams in the middle and one on each corner. And these are two by twos. And then he screwed them in. We bought all the wood, the two by twos from Lowe's, and the paint can from Lowe's. The first paint can was a mistake of a color that I had purchased for five bucks and I was gonna use it on the hull. Then David found it, wanted to use it on the box because he liked the Decepticon purple. So then we went there and had to match it up. So it was a really big challenge to match up the paint. So he, but we did, with him and I looked at every purple color on there to find the right one, so we've got it. So now it's all painted up. And then I, we went and said, well, we've got to get decent handles. So I said, well, we're going to get good handles. So I picked really 
in my opinion, which is very attractive and strong handles that we screwed in at each end for him to yank and pull it around. So this is really strong, <coughs> really supportive. The outside is to put the lid over and paint the other side. <coughs> and then, um, <laughs> and then he's going to hinge, put, he's going to put the hinges on this for that so, and close so it can open and close and it's going to be a storage for his room. And that's all that I know about the box. Any further information, David can give you, but um, he's almost done, so he'll see you next step. Thank you. Oh, it smells good out here now.